This is not possible. I cannot stay here. What's the matter? Mr. Landau doesn't want to be here because he says he's not ill. I'm not ill, but that's not the reason. Go after him. Mr. Landau? What's going on? They're shouting about an omnibus. In the examination room, probationers want to a stretcher. Splints, junkers and dressings. How many are there? Move your arms. Move your legs. That's good, good. Right, deep laceration to the lateral aspect of the forehead. Not too serious. Can you stitch the wound, please, nurse? Dr. Ingrams, whenever you're ready. No obvious displacement. Oh, no, the is supposed to be intact. Stay for it. Did you come in with the accident? I came here this morning. You've not been waiting all this time. I saw you. You spoke to me. I'm sorry, I don't... I came in this morning with a young boy. Of course. I'm Matron Luckers. Is there a difficulty? No difficulty, Miss Luckers. I told him to wait there. Dr. Head wants to admit him, but Mr. Landau doesn't want to be admitted. Oh, you are what we call a request patient. But it isn't his request. He doesn't want to be admitted. Pressure. Steward. Mr. Landau, your condition has nothing to do with the boy you brought in today. How long have you had attacks like the one you suffered in the receiving room? Overwork. I don't eat properly. How long? <laughs> Two years, perhaps. Mr. Landau, it's possible that your condition is quite serious, blighted by neglect. I want you to do everything that you're told to do and not to leave your bed. Do you understand? It was a trick, just to get her attention. See, he does as he's told. You have to stay in bed and rest. We're together at last. That's nonsense. Am I delirious? Why don't the other patients want you in here? They're small-minded. It's politics. Nurse Goodley. I need you to take this note to the steward's office. Is this Mr. Landa? Sorry, sister. <clears throat> I've sent the usual note to the steward and asked him to send a messenger. It seems Mr. Landau has no family, so far as I can tell. He talks very oddly at times. Landau's an anarchist. 
Do some asking around. He's one of a group who works around the Jewish area. He does seem to cause some sort of tension with the other patients. Procedures for putting a patient on the dangerous list include contacting a minister if you can't contact any next of kin. Oh, I think it's going to be very interesting if you send for a rabbi for Mr. Lander. I'm obliged to. Dangerous list. Sister Spencer says, could you send a messenger, please? Landau. Not Saul Landau. I wish I could stay. See if my diagnosis has cured his atheism. It's been known to happen. <laughs> I need your instructions for the night system. Dead yet? Oh. <coughs> Help me sit up. Has anyone been to see you? Did you have someone in mind? Well, family? My family has disowned me. I can't believe that. Why would they do that? Because of beliefs. Do you know that all men are the same? except that the different things they believe separate and distinguish them. Like having Hebrew wards in hospital. No, the Jewish patients want separate wards. They eat different food. They do indeed want to be different. Is that wrong, to have beliefs? I have beliefs. I hold them as strongly as any of these people. Only mine aren't about what kind of meat I eat or whether there's a blemish in an egg, or whether my clothes mix linen and cotton. And what are these beliefs? That men will rise up from their servitude and achieve universal justice. That's why my family disowned me. Get a male attendant to help me wash you. in what he knows about paleo tomorrow. In this place, we have to have open hearts, but also close something of ourselves off at the same time. It's the hardest thing in the world. Isn't it? <laughs> what are you doing here? They sent the messenger. I repeat. What are you doing here? Saul Landau has no family, so the...